Hey what's up guys, MGH here and welcome to another episode of my career mode update series. It's a little bit of a late one this one, I've been very busy this weekend so I do apologise. But this week there has been quite a few upgrades and quite a few downgrades as well which may surprise you. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this episode and let's get into the first player. So guys the first player is going to be De Gea. Arguably Man United's best player this season. He has now gone up to an 86 overall with a potential of 89 I think he's got even higher potential than that personally. If you're basing that off ratings like you're seeing in real life now, Neuer's a 90. I think De Gea being only 23 has huge potential to be even better than Neuer under the right management. Is he going to go to Real Madrid? Is he going to stay at uh, Manchester United? We're not sure. I think he's probably going to move on at some point in his career, but maybe not just yet. The next player on the list is Javi Martinez from Bayern Munich. Unfortunately, has been injured. He's only just come back, I believe, and he has gone down by one, but still a very good viable option. At 84 rated as well, one of the best defenders slash midfielders in the game. Damn it, I wish this upgrade happened before I started my Valencia career mode because Otto Mendy, in the form of his career right now, has gone up to 83 with a potential of 88. That is absolutely astonishing because that is a potential of five more overalls. Even though he's 26, I think that's one of the highest in the game for that kind of age. So very impressive stats for Otamendi. The next player is Dos Santos from Villarreal. This guy is one of the best players in FIFA, in my opinion. He's so, so quick, great at finishing. And he's just one of those strikers that, you know, if you can get him cheap, he will be an absolute bargain for your team and bring you success. Now for the next player, and that is Juan Cuadrado. This guy moved from Fiorentina to Chelsea in January. Salah going the other way, which, by the way, he's been doing fantastic. So I think you can expect to see him in one of the episodes coming up soon. Not in this one, unfortunately. But Cuadrado, he went down to an 81 when he moved to Chelsea, but now he's moved back up to an 82. So a bit of a weird one from EA that I think it may have been a position change that did that. But now he's a right midfielder again. He can play as a striker and a left midfield as well. Moving on, we're going back to La Liga, and this time it's Atletico Bilbao striker Adariz. I'm probably saying that one wrong. Now, at the age of 33, you'd think he's gone past it. He's, he's out of his prime age now, and he'll probably start to decrease. But actually, he's gone up. He's been in some great form this year, and he's now an 81 overall. Now, despite his work rates, medium attack, high defensive work rates, still a very good striker. And just saying, in the air, I don't think there's many better in the game. In the air, he is crazy good. Moving on to another big striker, we've got Gignac from Marseille. I would actually like to see him come to the Premier League. He's still got a couple of years in his prime, I reckon. He's only 28, um, but what a striker. He reminds me a lot of Giroud in terms of big technical abilities. Pretty good for a big guy and a really good finisher. Time for another French player and one player that played very well at the weekend versus Chelsea, and that is Schneidlin. Arsenal are interested in him. I know Tottenham are probably interested in him. I, to be honest, I bet you every Premier League club is interested in Schneidlin, whether they can afford him or not. Um, and Southampton have one of the best CDMs this year in their team. And alongside with Wanyama, they are very, very good there. But Schneidlin, for me, one of the best CDMs so far this season, and he proved it against Chelsea. He's now gone up by 1 to 81, with a potential of 85 as well, which is very respectable. I would love to see him at Arsenal next season. Please, Wenger, bring Schneidlin in. Another French player. I don't get it. This week should be called French Upgrade Week. Uh, Maxime Gonalons has gone up by one from Lyon. Now, Lyon have been very, very strong this year in the French League. One of the better teams so far um, with some very, very good players. And Gonalons is... He's the heart of that midfield and clearly he's been performing very well. He's gone up by one as well to 81 with a potential of 84. So France have some really great players in the middle there. Gonalons and Schneidlin both on the list this week. Now time for another goalkeeper. We have Lopez from Lyon. Again, another Lyon player. Um, I think he's been one of the surprise players this season. He looks like a very, very solid goalkeeper. And he's only 23. So same age as De Gea. He's got an overall of 80 with a potential of 85. So he has the potential to grow into one of the best goalkeepers in the game. So definitely look out for him in career mode if you can sign him up. You definitely should. You can see on his evolution graph there, the blue graph, He's just been going up and up and up throughout his career, which is really good to see. Soldado, he has gone down. Tottenham signed him and probably thought they were going to get one of the biggest bargains of the century. Although he was quite expensive, they were expecting a lot of goals because obviously he did so well in the Spanish league. But we all know what's happened. He hasn't lived up to his, 
well, his previous form, I guess. And his, uh, his overall's gone down 79. His potential's only 79 as well. So Soldado, as far as I'm concerned in career mode, he's pretty much done. If you're going to start one with Tottenham, I'd probably just sell him, to be honest, now that you've got Kane. Prince Boateng has also gone down, which is a big shame for Schalke. Um, let me know if you think, as a Schalke fan or a Bundesliga fan who's been watching Schalke play, does he deserve this downgrade? From what I've seen, which I admit is very little of Schalke this season, I've only seen, I think, three games where they've played, one of them being against Madrid. I thought Boateng has been doing pretty well, so I'm a little bit confused by that, but he's now down to 79. Now time for another Tottenham player, it's Paulinho. He's gone down to 79 as well. He's been going down a little bit. He isn't getting as much first-time football as maybe he should be. And uh, it's a shame because I think he's got great, he's got great potential and he's a good player. He's a solid CDM, um, but he's now down to 79 with a potential of 80, which isn't very good, to be honest. Another French player and another Lyon player, and Umtiti. He's one of my favourites in the game to sign in career mode. You can get him pretty cheap, actually, for how good he is. He's 79 overall now. What I love about this guy is how quick he is and how strong he is and how good at jumping and how agile he is. He's not the tallest, which I'll admit is a bit of a shame. He's only 5 foot 11, but with a potential of 85, you know, he becomes one of the best players in the game in defence for me. Stats-wise, he just has everything. Another defender this time, but it's a downgrade, and it's Manchester United's Phil Jones. Clearly, the injuries have affected him, and Manchester United going downhill over the last few seasons hasn't helped as well. So, unfortunately for England, it looks like our Phil Jones isn't as good as we first hoped, but um, at least we got Smalling, eh? Hey? Now this upgrade I've been waiting for, it's Fonte from Southampton. He has been arguably one of the best centre-backs in the Premier League this season, along with John Terry maybe, um, and he's finally been given an upgrade. He's only gone up by one. I was hoping for 79 personally, and a little bit of an upgrade to his actual stats, uh, but he's 78 overall now, um, but he's 30 years old, so you can't expect him to grow. He's going to have a potential of 78 as well. Um, but honestly, I'm so, so pleased that they've finally done this. Another upgrade to Felipe Anderson from Lazio. 78 overall now for a 21-year-old. That's pretty good going, but a massive potential of 87. And he has some of the best stats in the game. He's a left winger, he's a right winger, and he's a cam. And he is one of the best players you can sign in career mode for me. Going forward, he is amazing. So definitely worth picking him up if you can. Two more to go now, and that is another Manchester United player. And it's right back, Raphael. I don't know what's happened to this guy. His career has also gone down, and he's only 23. So there's time for it to come back. Um, I don't think Van Gaal likes him. I think if he moves on, Raphael could go to another club and bring his career back up to what it was. And I think it was a very promising career. And now the last player, and that is Emenike. The reason I wanted to include him is because everyone knows about MNEK on FIFA. He is known as the overpowered beast striker, but he's been downgraded. He's now only 76 overall. Now, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean anything. He's probably still one of the most overpowered players in the game, but he's not that high rated anymore. And at the age of 27, he's in his prime. Is that going to be it for him, unless he moves clubs? I don't know, but with a potential of 78, he's not really worth investing in, if you ask me. He's just pace, and he's just strength. His finishing uh, is only 73, which is not very good. But that's going to round it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, I'm sorry it's a little bit late. Next time, it will definitely be up on the Saturday or Sunday, depending on when Ultra FIFA do get the stats up. So thank you for watching, guys. Please do drop a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And I will see you next time.